Ja, was ist das hier? Hey, going. This is my mate's house, which I made a terrifying home security system. As you can see, doesn't work very well. And he doesn't know who burnt his house down. Police are tonight hunting an arsonist who targeted the home of controversial Friendly Geordie's YouTube blogger. Der ist cool. Ja, man, das ist einer meiner Lieblings YouTube Channel. Falls ihr noch nicht kennt, Freunde, ich habe das all meinen Freunden empfohlen. Jeder hat abonniert. Äh, ich habe eigentlich jedes Video gesehen seit irgendwo hier oder so. 10 aus 10 YouTube Channel müsst ihr abonniert haben, wenn nicht peinlich. But I promised to help him by ich making a terrifying Menschen. security system, which would prevent anyone from coming near his house ever again. Hab keine Empfehlung bekommen. Ja, Cracks bei. Da frag dich mal, warum. Now I've always wanted to make a horrible home security system, and Jordan's house getting burnt down was actually just a great excuse for me to pretend I'm helping by making something I was going to make anyway, a face tracking paintball turret. Junge, and to start this build, I did what I always do and went online and just found someone that had already made it, this child. I then stole their design and code without giving them any credit. <laughs> Now the child is using two motors to move the Nerf <laughs> turret up and down and side to side. And I reckon if I just upgrade the motors and wooden frame, it should work in the same way, even with a much heavier paintball turret. And to do this, I bought a much more expensive material that children can't get their hands on. Meth, which I pressed into white sheets. Then I took it to my only mate that hasn't had his house burnt down yet and used his custom built CNC machine to cut out the frame. Bruder, warum? Warum? Oh, I think and while the so machine satisfying. is doing all the work, I'll tell you about Jordan's place being burnt down. Jordan, or Friendly Geordies, makes videos about Australian politics, a lot of the times about corruption within the government. And as you would expect, this has pissed quite a lot of really powerful people off. And recently, he spoke to a whistleblower named Troy, who revealed the extent of money laundering that happens in Australian clubs on poker machines, and how the people that are meant to regulate this choose to ignore it. And we actually demonstrated this by laundering $25,000 in a single day with Jordan. But after Jordan spoke to this whistleblower, his house mysteriously got firebombed. LOL. And that meant that Jordan had to go into hiding. But now Jordan's back and just released a video explaining what happened and who he thinks might be responsible. So you should go check that video out after this. Digga, das ist spooky, man. Stellt euch vor, ihr liegt irgendwas und dann auf einmal dein Haus brennt nächsten Tag einfach ab. Heilige Scheiße, Digga. Bro, ich könnte sowas nie, ne? Digga, ich hätte da viel zu viel Schiss. Ich hätte alleine schon zu viel Schiss, irgendwie Weed zu verkaufen, weil ich irgendwie Angst hätte, dass, keine Ahnung, das FBI mich auf einmal verfolgt oder so. But this also means he definitely needs security. Zufall, and why would you rely ja, on sure. police when you have me? Am I able to just pull this off? <coughs> No. If you're able to. <laughs> okay, once the pieces were all cut out, I put them together. This bearing in here, this servo on the bottom, which will move the base around, this one on the side for the up and down motion, this Arduino, these bolts on the bottom so I don't have to use any glue, then I screwed in this arm, and then put a leg on the other, and then finished it off with a little bit of hot glue to stop it creaking when it moves. Ah. <laughs> Now, with this Arduino, I have no idea how to write code for it. But luckily, I don't have to, as the child's code should work on this in exactly the same way. Digga, als ob er jetzt einfach den Code von diesem armen Kind einfach rippt. So, I opened up my computer, which of course has Opera GX on it, the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Opera GX is my favorite Classic. and go-to web browser because it doesn't use all of your computer's resources for no reason, as it has a special feature which allows you to limit the network bandwidth used by Opera GX browser to gain performance in games and streams and enhance the overall performance of your PC. Here, look at this example using slow Chrome and now fast Opera GX. This is especially useful for me when I'm running some intense code like this and need as much processing power as possible. Opera GX is also customizable and you can change it and make it feel really unique and special to you. It also has a lot of extensions and has the ability to add all your Hogas. messenger programs on the side, which is really useful. And now, if you use my link to download Opera GX, you will also get this awesome GX corner feature, which I love as it allows... 
Wahrscheinlich, wahrscheinlich Touchscreen, oder? <lacht> wahrscheinlich ist der Bildschirm Touchscreen. Bro. Yo. Apple GX today. Okay, back to the kids code, which works by communicating to this webcam here. Digga, die Logitech für Webcam, einfach aus 1995. From the 90s, which is connected to the Arduino, and then these two <lacht> servo motors, which work together to move the webcam so it points directly at a person's face. Finding me. Okay, let's see if I move to the side. Krass, aber es funktioniert. This is terrifying. It finds my face so well. Bro, das ist aber geil. What about down here? Feel me. What about up here? What about moving? <laughs> And then when your face touches the crosshair in the middle, the servo attached to the trigger fires. And it seems to find my face pretty well, but sometimes it gets confused by my wrinkly knees, thinking they are a face. Is it funny, buddy? Yeah, wäre es vielleicht smart, einfach eine Kamera zu nehmen, die einfach nicht 40 Jahre alt ist? Vom Ding, also ich meine, wäre es nicht smart, eine Kamera zu nehmen, die slightly mehr Auflösung hat? Or even my face-shaped penis. And now that the machine wants to kill me, it's time to give it a gun. And I bought this one, which looks pretty cool. Wow, and because of Australia's couples. strict gun laws, it also has the added bonus of sending you to prison if you put this barrel attachment on, which makes it look too much like a real gun. Well, Alexa, <laughs> do you reckon you can put this on the end of this? Yeah, just that way, just help me push it. I just can't do it because I got a camera in my hand. Yep, and push, and then just hold all of it. Yep, there you go. And the plan is to attach it up here on these arms. <laughs> but I completely forgot about the gas tank. So hopefully it's weighted evenly and isn't too heavy for these servos. Hey, I have, uh, as we in winter or waren, have I with some typen gelabert. They had me erzählt, I thought that gibt's nur bei so, bei Soft Air. Es gibt auch bei Paintball so 1000 gegen 1000 Schlachten, Junge. Überkrank. Und er meinte, ich könnte vom Ding her auch mal dabei sein und das streamen und so. Aber ich weiß nicht ganz, ob das so mega Omega Brand Safe ist, weil die da auch so mit so Panzern eingesammelt werden und so. Also er meinte, die fahren dann so mit so Panzer rum und so und haben da auch dann so, so wenn man raus ist, dann wird man so abgeholt mit so, mit so einem Fahrzeug und fährt so zurück und alles sieht aus wie so echter Krieg einfach. Und ich weiß nicht, ob das so Omega Brand Safe ist, aber vom Ding her hat sich das übertrieben sick angehört, Digga. But I ich finde das so cool or in American units, enough power for half a school shooting, which should be more than enough. Digga, die Waffe sieht so real aus. Ja, man, die sah richtig krass ernst, äh, real aus. And this looks pretty intimidating when all together. Ich this painte immer meine Balls. Terrifying. Klassiker. Kracher, Bro. I definitely don't feel like firebombing my own house. So time to see if the face tracking still works with the gun and gas tank on the end. Oh, Alexa, do you reckon you can look up and tell me if this, this works? Just look into this and we'll see if it finds your face. Well, just, yeah, just keep looking there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it shooting? And even though it was firing blanks, it's still terrifying and is loud and my ears are ringing. So it's time to test it out with some real paintballs. But there's a problem. This is also illegal. Like, very illegal. If I put a ball in the turret and shoot it in my house, the police will come and give me a $100,000 fine, put me in prison, and then touch me, which is not what you want from a home security system. But my logic is, if you are actually defending yourself from a person wanting to firebomb you and potentially kill you, then this would be considered self-defense and must stand up court. So just to be safe, I found a paintball venue crazy enough to let me legally test this device on their premises. Spitfire Paintball. Now they said they didn't want to be in the video if I get in trouble oh, no. with the police, Stop but I won't actually find that out until Matthew. after the video is released. So Spitfire Paintball, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's hey, how are you going? How are you going? Pretty good. <laughs> I'm excited. Are, are you uh, proud of this contraption? Do you think that it's going to protect you? I think it's definitely going to protect you as long as you don't look at it. Like you, because it's face yeah. tracking. Yeah. You just always have to be looking away. Oh, okay, so I'm looking safe. So you're not programming in the face. Hey, but I think. 
wenn dieses kriegsechte Ding nicht so geil ist, wir sollten trotzdem mal einen Stream machen, wo wir Paintball spielen gehen in so einer Halle oder so. Ich glaube, das könnte ganz geil sein. Ich glaube, es ist auch nicht so tricky, wenn ich das vorher mit Kayo oder so mal plane, dass wir äh, so irgendwie eine GoPro haben, die nach vorne zeigt, eine GoPro, die auf mich zeigt und dann laufe ich da so rum, Digga. Könnte ganz geil sein. <lacht> mit Zuschauern? Boah, das wäre krass. Aber ihr kriegt keine Waffe, sondern ich darf euch nur abballern. <lacht> So Zombie-Mode-mäßig. Anyways. How good do you think he is of a programmer? He, he can't do any of this. It's, it's all faces. Also, I didn't write this code. I stole it from a child on YouTube that, that made this for a Nerf gun. <laughs> But sadly, the owner did have one condition, and we needed to wear masks to prevent us from getting shot in the eyes which means the facial recognition won't work. So the plan now is to get Jordan, his producer Christo, Alexa and I to all wear shirts with the faces of people that might have a reason to burn down Jordan's house. That way we can also <laughs> test if their inhumane looking faces are even recognized by the computer as real faces and also means we get shot in the chest. Genial. So time for the first real test, which I decided to do as a matador. Holy shit. Pogas, And that seemed to work really well, and it was searching for real faces to shoot. So I put on one of the face shirts and got in front of the turret. Oh man, oh man. Oh, Digga, wie nah, oh, wie nah, Digga. Oh, fuck. Oh, let me see. And that hurt so much more than I thought it would. Maybe it was the rubber balls on bare skin or the fear factor of the autonomous robot, but I do not remember paintball hurting this much. So the rest of the boys gave it a go. And Christo seemed quite calm and managed to face the turret directly. Oh, it's not turning. But for some reason, the robot ignored the face on his shirt and decided to kneecap Christo instead. Try to shoot your knee. Ah, <laughs> Oh, I thought, 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 I <laughs> and as you can see, it's actually quite hard to get hit. And to get the turret to actually shoot us, we had to flatten our shirt. Digga, check dir, dass das einfach äh, so Politiker sind, die, also die eventuell mit dem Grund zusammenhängen, warum von seinem Homie das Haus niedergebrannt wurde, Digga. Und jetzt sind die da, haben so ein, ein fucking Paintball-Turret gebaut, Digga, und haben so T-Shirts an mit denen und schießen auf die, Digga. And walk very slowly Bruder, towards es ist, the camera. Äh, ich, ich schwöre, von I did a thing, das Haus wird auch demnächst äh, niedergebrannt. Which luckily is ich what most kommen, criminals Digga. are known to do before burning down people's houses. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Why are you so wilty? And after comparing our battle wounds, of which Christo had the most, we decided to run through a scenario. Jordan would lie down sleeping like he normally would at home and we would try to sneak up to him with a petrol can and burn him alive. So now, enjoy Alexa, Christo and I being tortured. And I was hit first, but luckily my apron stopped me from feeling anything. And that almost seemed to piss off the turret and it decided to aim lower, and once again, kneecapped Christo. <laughs> and the turret <laughs> was working really well this time, as we were moving around and jumping in front of the crosshair a lot. 
but mostly it actually just traumatized <laughs> us so much that we didn't want to go anywhere near it. But fortunately for us, it crashed. So we took the opportunity to pour petrol all over Jordan, killing him. <laughs> and then, to make it worse, just as his cameraman was asking Jordan <coughs> if the turret made him feel safe. Feel safe? No, not at all. The turret crashed and shot Jordan in the neck. Wahrscheinlich ist es gecrashed, oder? Digga. Oh wait, das ist wirklich gecrashed, oder? Ich dachte erst, er hat das mit der Hand gemacht. Aber das Ding wollte, das Ding wollte ihn einfach anvisieren und ihn töten, Bro. Den fucking Besitzer. So we decided to try it one more time. But just before we did, I looked down at my phone and noticed 11 missed call and multiple messages from my mum, letting me know that the New South Wales police had showed up at her doorstep and were searching her house. And I immediately thought it was because of this video I'm filming right now, but it turns out it wasn't. And they were actually there because of this video I made five years ago. And after telling the boys what was happening at my mum's house. There are Wait, this is real? Police at my mum's house. I feel like I can't do anything else now. But, uh, Wait, I think they're leaving. Yeah, they're leaving. Do you reckon they're, they're leaving? leaving? We all decided that my mum would be fine and we should continue with another group test. <laughs> <laughs> But this time, we decided to split up to give us better chances. And when we did this, the turret really didn't know what to do, and it was missing a lot more. And Alexa and I managed to not get hit at all, but Christo once again stabbed. Stell dir vor, die Polizei steht einfach bei deiner Mom vor der Haustür, weil du mal auf YouTube eine Tampon-Gun gebaut hast. <lacht> Bro. Made in one place for Jawohl, two months. Jawohl, Alter, auf Chillo. <lacht> Ganz normaler Arbeitstag einfach. Before Alexa snuck around and burnt Jordan. Warum hat er keine Socken an? Ist so ein liebes Video. Er hat, nie, er hat nie Schuhe oder Socken an. Egal was er macht. And the robot once again failed to stop us. And maybe this was because the faces were too small and kind of wrinkled and hard to detect. Oh, you got oh, some man. good ones. Oh. So we decided to give the robot a bigger target. And the boys drew John Barillaro's beautiful face on me. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm tensing and screeching like a goblin, but this is terrifying. <laughs> Mostly because my mind is trying to keep me in one spot long enough for the time. Actually, good physic. Yeah, yeah, der Bre is uh, auch angetreten by the box car. To find the face. Oder er, er sollte, er sollte, bei demselben, wo ich auch antreten sollte, aber er hat auch gedippt. So it looks like it's working for this video, but at the same time, my body wants to run away in the opposite direction, which resulted in me doing this strange up and down jump. Du solltest auch, aber sahst nicht so aus. Bro, shut the fuck up. Ich war ultra shredded. And in one way, that worked really well, and all of us have some nasty wounds. But it wasn't enough to stop us from burning Jordan alive in all three tests. But I don't think he's in a position to be picky. So I welded up a bracket and went to his new address at 109 Kirribilli <laughs> Avenue 2061 New South Wales and installed it next to his front door. And <laughs> now, at the bare Stinger. minimum, the next person that burns down his house will have some recognizable paintball hickeys on them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my uh, other videos. Yeah.